Upstate overdose deaths are on the rise, up as much as 50 percent statewide from before the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. And now a spotlight on one opioid in particular, contributing to deaths right here in the upstate. Our Taggart Houck is live tonight in Greenville. And Tag, what are our officials looking for specifically? Well, Carol, good evening to you. You know, the focus here is on fentanyl. It's a highly addictive and deadly substance. And Greenville County officials say they are now finding it in just about any drug on the street. Concern amid an increasing number of overdose deaths. In 2020, 78% of Greenville County overdoses involved opioids. And even last week, in just two days, the coroner's office responded to seven calls for opioid-related overdoses. Opioids, and specifically fentanyl, is the one that we see most often. Uh, and literally, it is the, the vast majority uh, of the toxicology cases that we run will have some level of opioid or fentanyl in them. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine, according to the CDC. The coroner's office is finding it's now being mixed with just about any street drug, including methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin. And I don't ever want to downplay the danger of any of the street drugs because uh, you can die from heroin by itself, cocaine by itself, certainly methamphetamine by itself, but if you introduce that component of fentanyl in there, then the chances of it becoming fatal increases dramatically. Fentanyl is the drug of choice, if you will, for cartels, and, and it's becoming the drug of choice for folks who are using. You might ask why Richard Jones at Favor Greenville says it's cheap, powerful, and right now accessible. People are using, they're looking for a certain effect, maybe other opioids, maybe other things aren't getting the job done. But this does. As for what can be done, he says Narcan needs to be more widely available. And while there has been progress, he's calling for a more aggressive outreach. There's a model of recovery that goes like this. You have to hit bottom and you have to want it and you have to come in and do what you're told. And that's just not going to work. People are going to die before they hit bottom. Yeah, in an effort to combat drug use, the uh, coroner's office now has an education trailer they unveiled with a couple of different agencies. More information about that on our website, WYFF News 4. For now, in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.